We have been struggling with issues of scholarly communication for over 40 years in the Academy. Uh, we know that scholars create new knowledge. Uh, they're interested in communicating that knowledge. Uh, the issues of assessment, evaluation, peer review, uh, quality control are a fundamental part of that process. And ultimately, we care about the long-term capture, preservation, and archiving of that information. We need to see scholarly communication from the point of creation to the point of permanent availability. The library community, in many ways, has been like a Greek chorus, uh, standing on the side of the stage over the last 40 years, saying, it costs too much. Uh, we, as universities, give too much away. Uh, we find that it takes too long to get from the researcher uh, to the reader. And so we've invested, um, as a library community and as a, an expanding scholarly communication coalition around the world, uh, We've invested in efforts to reduce cost, to speed up the process, uh, to retain as much as we can ownership of that intellectual property within the university, and to open access to that information as widely and as consistently as we can, without losing sight of the issues of quality and permanent archiving and availability. Uh, the open access movement, which is really a, a product of the serials crisis of the 80s and 90s, recognizes that there's a folly, if you will, in the university being such a, an extraordinary creator and supplier of scholarly work, uh, but then forced uh, at increasingly uh, higher prices uh, to bring that information back into the university to support teaching, learning, and research. Uh, it's almost become trite to, to talk about that folly, uh, but it's uh, the open access movement that I think has given new visibility uh, to our responsibility to maximize uh, the readership and to maximize the accessibility of that, of that scholarly output. Um, therefore, as more and more information is converted to digital form, as more and more information uh, of a research and scholarly nature is produced uh, initially in a digital form, uh, we have a, a very special responsibility to capture it, to organize it, uh, to maintain its integrity uh, and then to make sure that that long-term preservation and availability is in place. That means a very strong partnership between the library community and the scholarly community. It means that we have to work uh, to educate uh, researchers and scholars about their privileges and rights as the authors of those works. Uh, we need to help them understand their relationship to their funding agencies, to those who provide grants for the research, whether they be uh, federal government offices or foundations. Uh, we need to help them understand the larger information policy and copyright issues that touch their work and their ability to integrate that work into the classroom and into their, uh, their own research uh, in the future. Uh, we have worked very hard in the library community uh, not only to educate our, our faculty and students, but also to uh, advocate um, at the state, national, and even at the federal level uh, to really change the, uh, the infrastructure, the policy infrastructure that supports scholarly communication and which ultimately defines the success of our faculty and students in finding, using, and integrating uh, uh, the scholarly works into their, into their educational experience and into their research experience.